Hello everyone, uh, my name is Ajay. Uh, this is the second video of the uh, simple application for converting a file from Word to PDF. So before watching this video, I prefer you to watch my previous video. So in this video, I'm going to explain about how you can uh, make the process uh, in a bit dynamic way. So if you see, this is my application up to now. So I just have a button here. So but I want uh, I want I mean in this video I want to show you how you can select that file which to which which have to be converted dynamically and convert that file and save in the location so for that I want to have another button and I want to uh, have another label where I want to show the path of that file selector file so for making that possible so to go to the form again and I want to add another button over here and I'm naming it, I'm naming it as uh, select file okay. and uh, I want to have a label so label here. <coughs> So on click on uh, on this button click on this select file button click I want to select the file which have to be converted and I want to uh, make that file path name appear in this label and on this convert and on and on this uh, convert button click I want to convert that file to PDF format and save in the location. So that's about uh, my requirement for this video. So I've done the changes in the form. So let me go to the select file button click event. So here I want to select a file right. So I want to select a file from the uh, file explorer pop up. So for making that possible uh, you need to create an object for file open dialog. Uh, so this is the one where you can you can use this. Uh, this object for opening a dialog I mean for opening a file explorer uh, pop up when you click on the button so for that I'm creating object for that and I want to show the dialog right so sorry show dialog and next if dialog dot show dialog equal to ok so if it is I mean if you click on ok in the file explorer then it will come into this condition and there I want to save the uh, path name of the file so for that I'm just declaring a string where I can save it. So file name. Okay. So dialog. I'm sorry, friends. I don't know why it's not recording the IntelliSense in this video. In my previous video also, I've noticed that it's not recording the IntelliSense. But I guess you can go go ahead with this way. I mean, you can see the IntelliSense in your system. Okay, so I'm sorry for that. So dig dot file name so this will return me a string this will return me a string of the file path name I mean the selected file path so I'm storing that in a file path the string I'm storing the I mean this um, it is nothing but just storing the file path file name of this uh, selected uh, file in the dialog to this file path string that's it and next oh, there is a label right so for that I want to set the text as a file path I mean I just want to set the text for the label uh, which is the file path actually and next so actually I want to declare this globally so it can be accessed 
from anywhere in the class okay string file path okay so on click event is done okay so next uh, i mean let me run this one for now so let me check whether it's yeah it's opening a pop-up and i can go to the desktop and i can select a file that i wish so i'm going to new folder i'm selecting the file open open so it is showing the path name here in the label so it is all expected so now when i click on convert then it have to convert this file into pdf and it have to sh uh, store in the location so for that i want to do some modifications to this method as I'm, I want to make this dynamic, so I'm just passing the uh, path name as a parameter, string parameter for this method, input parameter, and I'm just replacing this. I'm just replacing this with this name. I mean, instead of passing hard, hard coding that value, I'm passing it from the input parameter. And on button click. I want to pass a parameter right it is expecting a path name parameter so here I want to pass the file path so that's it so that's it. everything is same just I made this method as dynamic and I'm passing the path name so if I want to call this method I need to pass the path name of the file that I have to be converted so it will convert and it will save in this location as earth.pdf so that's all about this method so on this button click event it will select the file and on this button click event it will convert the selected file so that's all, all about this so if you so let me run and show you okay and if you see okay and i'm selecting the file earth or oh, i'm selecting the file earth and if you see uh, actually i want to save it in I wanted to save it in the converted files location so for making that possible copy that link copy the path of that uh, folder and I just want to stop this for a while so I want I want to make this changes so that the reason so just uh, replace that path name here So this is, I mean, this is just the path name that I'm um, giving uh, where the file will be saved. I mean, after the conversion, the PDF file, file will be saved in this path. Okay. So let me run it. So let me select the file. It's earth. Earth. Okay. And see if you see con in the converted files, I have no files. So, but after conversion, I have to expect a PDF file here. So let me click on convert. Okay, it's done. So if you see in the converted files, I got a new file created earth.pdf. So if you see, if you open and see, it's working fine. So it's, and it's also converting everything successfully. So that's it, friends. I mean, this is a simple application. Actually, you can go and adding as many features as you want. Uh, this is actually a kind of base for converting a, a word document to pdf so in further if you also want to add any other features you can do it as uh, as according to your requirements so this is all about the simple application for converting a word document to a pdf document in c sharp using windows application i mean windows form application so thank you friends for watching my video if you like this video please subscribe to my channel thank you